Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is John with Random Bytes, and today we're going to make an animated timer in PowerPoint. Um, the key concepts is that um, this method uses animations, it does not use Visual Basic, so there are no macros involved. Um, uh, it's important that we start from the top down. So if we have a one minute um, timer, we start from one minute. If we have a five minute timer, we start from five minutes. Um, we're going to uh, use two PPTs because we want to use the control H replace pro um, uh, function and so that we can hit the replace all button. Otherwise it goes through all the slides. Um, I wish that PowerPoint had a replace all on this slide button, but they don't. Um, and um, shapes are easier to use than text boxes. All right, so let's begin. What we need to do is we need to get a new slide here. Clear it off. Insert a shape. We'll do a rectangle. Go to the uh, drawing things and make it um, a nice even um, size, like one by three, and then insert some text. And we're going to do zero colon x nine and raise it up so that it uh, fills the box. Then format the shape because I hate that blue. Does anybody know how to make it so that the blue never shows up? Um, and um, line also black. Okay, that looks good. All right, so here what we need to do is what do we need to do? We need to do animations, animation pane, and we need to do up here. And then um, we need this uh, timing to be one second. And um, it's after, after previous. There we go. Okay, so copy. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so then this will be zero. One. Two. And so forth. So now what we need to do, what do we need to do? We need to um, go to the view and put on the grid lines and then we need to line this up with one of these grid lines here All right it can be pretty touchy sometimes that looks good okay so then um, we just need to stack them up um, precisely we have the little cross there and it's important to release the mouse carefully Okay, so there we have it. Nice stack. Um, shall we test it? Uh oh, what'd I do? Ah, these didn't work. Timing. After previous, delay of a second, there it goes. All right. Nine, eight. It's important, uh, what you want to do here is look at the colon um, to see that it does not move at all. And it didn't, so there we go, very good. Go here and insert, um, no, insert a new slide. Get rid of this stuff. 
Now, what I like to do, because, um, um, like I said here, I want to be able to use the replace all button with Control H, is I open up a new PowerPoint and delete that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a one minute timer. So in order to build a one minute timer, what we, well, um, actually here, I will actually want 59 to zero. So we're, um, we'll, we'll put the one minute timer here when we're done. And we'll put a five minute timer here for completionist's sake. Okay, so this this will be 59 to zero. Okay, so here what we need to do is we need to copy um, these rectangles and go to the presentation here, paste them in, and we're going to um, replace the X with a five. And replace all. Copy those bad boys and then go over here and paste them in. Perfect. All right. Now go back to the this one. Yes. And we want to replace the five with a four. And no oh wait. No. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That'll mess it all up. Um, um, what we want to do is we want to hit it control Z and that changes it back to X. There we go. And then we want to replace the X with a four. There you go. That was almost a terrible mistake. Um, replace all. Okay, 10 replacements. Copy. And paste. And line up. Now here you'll see that the um, alignment marks are on the top left and we should go ahead and check it to make sure that the numbers don't jump around because that would be distracting here we go good okay so back here control Z to change them back to X Control H, replace X with three, replace all. All right, so there we have it. Let's close this and check it out. So far, so good. We'll speed this up to the end. Okay, and so there you have it. You see that the, um, that the colon doesn't jump around. It stays steady right there in place. So that is a successful 59 to zero. All right, so in order to make a one minute timer, what we need to do is we need to start with um, uh, one of these shapes and we need to remove the animation and we need to change it to one minute and then we take the 59 to 0 and we will paste that on top of there like so and then go to the animation pane and the first one will be rectangle um, uh, 59 seconds and we need to change this to start on click all right now after all of this I should probably save and we can save it as timers on desktop and save yes all right, um, so let's check it out. It's one minute until you click, and then it starts. All right.
So then we can, um, with, with this ready, you can um, build any uh, time that you want, actually. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then we'll paste in the 59 to 0 over here. All right, like so. And then over here, what we want to do, copy one rectangle and paste it in here. And we'll make that five minutes and remove the animation. All right. And so then, what do we want to do over here? Over here, we want to replace zero colon with four colon and replace all 60 replacements. That makes sense, doesn't it? Copy, paste, and preview. Okay, that looks good to me. So then go back to this slide and replace the four minutes, four colon, with um, three colon. So, um, like I said at the beginning, you have to work from the top down. Place all. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and save that. No harm. And then let's run it. Oh, I forgot to um, make it start on click. This will be the first one, right? Yes. And so we want that one to start on click and then save. All right, let's try it again. Five minutes and then we'll run through this quickly, show to demonstrate. and here we go for the final 10 seconds and so that means that everything lined up just fine and dandy throughout the whole thing so that's wonderful okay so um, what we can do now is we can choose the one minute timer and we'll copy it and let's go to a new presentation and pick a design this time and so with our design Oh, I don't know. Here we go. Let's do this one. And if we paste it in, um, it will um, adopt some of the de um, the uh, design elements of yeah this thing. So here, that's not going to work. So we need to format the object, and the fill needs to be a theme color like so. And um, And then there you go. It changes the font and everything like that. Um, speaking of that, I thought that maybe that three inches is too wide. Change that. We can change the font if we so choose. We can change the um, font color if we so choose um, and like that so um, my point being that um, because they're shapes uh, the shapes are much easier to manipulate than a uh, text box would be so um, definitely do um, do this animation with shapes and not with a text box all right so let's talk about the takeaways the takeaways are um, that you start at the top. If you're building a five minute uh, timer, um, the first shape will say five minutes, um, etc. 
Um, you use the second PowerPoint so that you can use the control H and replace all function. Um, if you try to do that on your working uh, timer PowerPoint, it will um, move from slide to slide or you have to click um, yes 60 times to make the changes. Um, use the shapes, the text boxes are um, less easy to manipulate and blend into new PowerPoints. Um, with shapes you can, um, you can make it so that it fits uh, the design of the um, PowerPoints. Um, it works on only one slide at a time. If you need a whole presentation timer, then you need to use Visual Basic. Um, and uh, the way that you would do that um, is you would create a master slide and then put your timer in that and write. So um, good luck with that. Um, it's, um, but this uses just uh, simple animations. It's easy to use, it's time consuming to set up, but you can control, you can paste it into any presentation in which you need to have a simple timer. Um, I thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and um, enjoy.